I'm Eric Usher. I work in sales and marketing for Crispy Cat Candy Bars. We're the first organic candy bar company. And we're here because we believe in the green movement and our product aligns ethics-wise with the green movement by being organic and uh, also it's vegan. And believe it or not, it tastes great. It does, because I sampled one. It's delicious. <laughs> so what makes you guys think you can compete with the Hershey's and the Mars and the big sort of commercial candy bars that are out there? Well, I, I think uh, the general trend in the way the population's starting to think now is more aligned with our product as far as it being green, sustainable, healthier, um, and, you know, better for the earth and you know our bodies at the same time so I think people are ready for that change but at the same time they want to keep the flavor and fun of a candy bar so I think we're in the right place at the right time. Well it's a very unique niche what tips do you have for other businesses that want to go after such a very you know unique specific niche like vegan people who love candy bars they want to be healthy but they still want something sweet and tasty. Well I don't know if you can really sit around and, and think of a product that's going to sell. I think that sometimes, you know, a business idea will find you just kind of through the natural flow of your life. And that's kind of what happened with us. We didn't sit around thinking of what would be a great business to start. It was just kind of uh, out of the flow of the founder of the company's life. He was a vegan and he wanted something that was sweet, um, but healthy and, you know, was aligned with his ethics and the way he thinks that people should live. So are you saying if you have a cool business idea, you don't have to get a business plan and spend a lot of time thinking and futuring out five years from now what the strategies will be? Well, Just follow your heart? Yeah. What's I, your tip? I think you, you should combine the two, you know? I think that um, it's, it's, it's really kind of um, hard to just sit down and with a pen and paper and come up with a business plan. I think there, there has to be a combination of both, but I think to neglect the business side of it would probably be a little bit foolish too. So, you know, I think w one leads to another and uh, it's, it's easy to do both once you, once you get going.